Hey guys, get your pipes ready and meet me in the old frog and toad. It's time for the final part of the Boundary Waters trip, part three. Hey guys, Mike here from Old Man Things. How y'all doing? It's so cold. I didn't put the heater on and it's too cold to have a pipe. It's like with the wind chill minus 25 right now. So I just thought I would look at my camera. I thought I would um oh bring you the last part, part three of the Boundary Waters canoeing trip. And this is like the end of the last night we were there and then a quick showing me in the canoe as we get ready to leave. So, and um, I was a bit pathetic. I was, <laughs> maybe not, but I was missing my wife at the end and you can hear me. <laughs> Anyhow, she's five foot two and I'm scared to death of her, but <laughs> I was missing her. All right. This was it. I hope you enjoyed this little thing. If you didn't, um, I just thought I'd have, I put it back on here without the music. So, all right. I hope you enjoy it and, um, see ya. I'll do a proper pipe chat pretty soon. All right. See you guys later. Bye. We made our dinner. I showed you some of that. I'm just finishing my last drop of tea that was in my pot. And I have a, like my little cup. So anyhow, now I'm just having a pipe relaxing. I'm going to take some sleeping pills tonight so I knock myself out so I don't have to hear stuff so I can get one good night's sleep. There's a rule in the boundary waters. If you come in and you leave, you can't go back out. And I don't understand why, but Tim's really sick. And we ran out of, we don't hardly have any toilet paper left, so... We're probably going to leave sometime tomorrow, so we'll cut it a day short. But if you if you saw the bugs, I mean, everything you do, it's like you go to the bathroom, it swarms, just swarms is terrible. You go get your water, swarms. You go to try to get in your tent, swarms. It's just terrible. When we... This morning when we came back, got up to near our campsite, you could it was like a roar. That's what it sounded like with the mosquitoes as we got close. It was like, ooh. So. But anyhow, all right, see you guys later. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys where we went today so this is where our campsite is we went all the way over here and we went back and then we went through here and we came around and back over here that's five miles and then this afternoon we went so that was Burrow Bay. Well, this afternoon we went from here up to North Bay. We went around and came back. And the 
wind game and it was really hard. This straight stretch here was uh, all against us. The wind was. It was. I had to paddle harder than I think I'd ever paddled before. And that was four miles. So we're going to total of nine miles today. And look, this is just a quarter of the lake that we're on. It's a big lake. We really like it. about seven o'clock. Tim's gone to bed. We're both exhausted. That that trip back, that wind was like 10, 20 miles an hour. And the, the, I don't think you guys want to see my feet, but the paddle against it, I mean, it was that, oh, basically two miles against wind. So, we're going back home tomorrow. If it wasn't for the bugs, the bugs wrecked it. They were just, it's just like, you go to the bathroom, swarms. You go get your water, swarms. You go to try to heat up your water, swarms. Mosquitoes, it's just, and, and I heard that they're, they're bad everywhere. I don't even want to drink water, that much water, because I don't want to go through the swarms of mosquitoes trying to fill up the dang thing. Because it's a, it's a gravity-fed filter um, base camp thing. So the water goes through that filter, and it just kind of drizzles out. So... We're gone two days. I do... I miss my wife. I miss my Linda. I'll put in a picture of mine. I don't think I've ever showed you my my wife. She's always right. I wish once she would be wrong, but she's always right. She said before we left, she said, "Did you try your? Did you check your your filter system? You haven't used that for like five years." I said, what could be wrong with it? She said, well, I would have checked it before I left. So nothing's going to be wrong with it. We go hook up water to it. It won't come out. Of course, her words always echo in my ear. But she's always right. Just once I like to be right. Thought I'd show you inside my tent. This is my cot. I have the cushion. I have my sleeping bag as feather. I use it as a quilt. My pillow up there. I have that little table that I use by my chair. So I have my clock there, my phone, which doesn't work. I mean, I can't. I could call someone if my life depended on it my glasses and a little light so going to bed it's thursday night i'll read a bit it's about 8 30. try to get up at five so i'll try to show you the last sunset sunrise all right I'll try to get in here before the mosquitoes swarm so thick it's not funny so you can see them all up against the wind. I don't know if you can or not. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Coming to an end of our trip. There, that's where we go in.